so this is my first video. In this video, I'm, I'm just going to introduce myself and show you what programs you'll be needing for my next DMART series. This will cover basically everything you need to know about an amnesia custom story. But for now, I'm only going to make my first DMART series, which will be on how to use a level editor and how to create a map for it. After that, I'm going to go to the HPL. After HPL, I'm going to go to .lang. And after the .lang, I'm going to go to CFG, which some people think they don't need, but you actually do need them. And then I'm going to be teaching you how to make an HPS. It will be the scripting for the actual thing. For now, you should get HPL level editor suit. Very important. Which I'm going to be teaching you how to use in my next tutorial. So basically you download this from the Frictional Games website. You've got the Linux, Mac and Windows version. In there you have a level editor, a model editor, a particle editor, a material editor, and HBR language stream. All included in it. As you can see. Okay, so some people use Notepad++. I personally don't use it, I don't need it, but it does help a bit. And um, that's basically all you need to know for my tutorial. If there are any other things, I will include. But uh, for now, I'm just going to show you what the HPL level editor looks like. So I'm just going to be pausing this video for a second. Okay, this is the HPL level editor. This is the level editor you'll need to create a map for Amnesia Custom Story in Amnesia. So, basically this includes your everyday objects, entities, doors, and things like that. You've got all these kind of things. You've got a hidden door as well. You've got a normal doors, broken doors, trap doors, even teleportation doors. You can call them whatever you want. I'll be making my HPL video tutorial. There are also entities and enemies that you can download online if you want. I'm going to show you what the enemy I just put there looks like from close up. You've probably already seen it in the actual game if you played it. Hopefully you did. It will help you a lot in making it. As you can see it's not as scary as it is in the actual game. Well, this is all you need to know about it for now. I'll be making tutorials uh, soon. Um, so, bye. And don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends.